Latitude Festival has played host to many voices over the years, and this year was no different, with acts like Duran Duran, Nile Rodgers, and many more performing in the Obelisk Arena. But beyond the spotlight of the main stage, deep in the faraway forest, different voices can be heard. A few years ago, we developed this Dolly the Elephant as a way of community consultation, and it actually travelled all over. It's been lots of times at Latitude to engage with the public about issues that are important to them. What is the elephant in the room? And the other things we've been doing at Latitude is giving people a voice, sort of like training people into how to speak up about matters important to them. So we've developed the Sad Speak Up booklet, which gives like a structured approach for how people can construct uh, a speech. And particularly in this day and age, it's very important that we equip people with the tools and techniques to speak up. Beth was one of the organisers of Latitude's speechwriting workshop, alongside Professor Alan Finlayson, and in collaboration with Dash Arts. Even today, when everything is about the internet and streaming technologies and no one reads books and no one ever meets anybody, we're always indoors, the speech remains a really fundamental part of how we communicate about politics, but also about society, culture, how we think the world should be. Kerry Norfolk was one of the festival goers that took part. It's a complete new experience. I think this morning I was just scrolling through the Latitude app and I was like, oh, that looks really interesting. Yeah, I'd like to do that. So I said, like, this is where we're going to start our day at Latitude. Yeah. I guess it's given me some sort of like confidence. And I think that when I was talking through the speech before I started, just realising the emotional connection about that, that felt really powerful for me. Knowledge is important to be shared, isn't it? And actually, we may all have a different, maybe political point of view or things that we feel passionate about, but actually we all have the right to be able to share that in a really positive and constructive way. But recently, with stricter laws against protesting, some people who have spoken out about issues they care about have been prosecuted. But is this the correct way to deal with people expressing their views? I think one thing that strikes me is that protesters are often demonized in the media. Um, and so I think that's a real shame. I mean, you know, if you look back you know, hundreds of years ago, you know, you think about the suffragettes and what they were doing. They were demonised at the time, but they were fighting for female rights, and that was hugely important. And I think very few people would uh, argue that that was a bad thing. And I think it's very easy to demonise people who are standing up and trying to protest for really important current issues today. I think we should have the freedom to protest whenever, however we want, and not be confined to organised protest got to look at it from both, both sides, but they're bringing attention to a cause that they believe passionately in, and um, you can't fault them for that. One group who aren't shy to get their voices heard are the Common Lot, a Norwich-based choir who perform Songs of Hope and Protest. This uh, Songs of Hope and Protest show that we've done, we did it in 2022, when it, we were coming out of lockdown. We had a government that had been partying all, you know, all the way through lockdown. We were all so angry. And so we made this show about protest songs. And the number of people that came up to us afterwards and said, thank you, I needed that. Because they felt that we'd expressed something that they were feeling. So it's just that gas tap that lets the pressure off, you know. Be wary of the artist. You know, the artist is the one who they're all scared of, really. You know, the artist always fills the vacuum and says the truth. So, yeah. So, will you get out there and let your voice be heard? <laughs>